the finals of the fir the second challenge. Six of them, three more. Uh, I hope uh, next week is the three last ones. Uh, some of the guys couldn't make it today. That's okay. Still, we have six songs to listen to. So uh, yeah, let's uh, just do it. Eric from the USA. Thank you for your input and let's listen to his song. Oh, sorry, can be a little louder. Yeah.
awesome. Very cool, man. Yeah, this this feels like the final, man. Uh, as I said before, it's uh, it's pretty complete now. This is uh, you fine tuned it here and there. Uh, here in the end, I hear uh, like a, a different tale of the melody. Yeah, and I saw your uh, your chat, guys. Um, yeah, the mix sounds really good. And why is that? I think uh, Eric, maybe because of experience, maybe uh, you have good ears. Uh, you have a lot of headroom in your mix. That's why it sounds so pro. It's not too compressed. Uh, you can still see the 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 waveform also. You know. If I just uh, zoom in on it, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, if I do this, ah, cannot show it now. Uh, browser, no. But if you zoom in on it, you really see the dynamics of the whole track still, and that shows there is headroom, but it sounds nice, full also. You know, it's not too soft either. That's why it sounds, yeah. Pro, I think. That's the main thing. And yeah, you worked with your pedal note the right way and you have a main theme. That what that's what we searched for the first weeks mainly. And that's yeah, that's the goal of this challenge, the pedal note challenge. To do a lot of things with your main theme or main melody and really build a song around that. So yeah, really, really well done. Uh, I have nothing uh, much more to say. We already fine tuned a lot next uh, last week. So that was really uh, a good one. So really nice, uh, nice one of you, man. Thanks again. Woo! Retracking the bass, yeah. You mixed that a bit. Uh, was it easy to mix with the the synth bass? Because that was the the, the biggest uh, challenge, I think. Because you have a really prominent synth bass, but you also recorded some. Uh, okay, you just brick walled some low end. That's good. And then you can play it next to each other, like and the synth bass and also the real bass guitar. Good one, man. All right, let's do the next song. For uh, Erki, for example, Erki from Norway has made this lovely piece with a strong theme as well. Let's listen to this one.
dark, man. Really dark. Thank you, Erki. <laughs> How come you guys are so good at mixing? Yeah, that's uh, sound, sounding great, man. Um, we fine-tuned it last week, this one. Erki uh, re-recorded that that guitar the, the orchestra and stuff was pretty good already and you reshaped that guitar so it's not so loud simply it's more uh, yeah more easy for the ears now and that makes it also more pro i think more easy to listen to and yeah it should be a calming uh, epic song you know and uh, yeah that that really uh is the case over here as I said past week also really strong theme you had this in the first week already and then you just developed it and created sort of variations of that as well you have the same melody but different things are happening below it dynamics with the orchestra uh, going softer going louder and you repeat the whole thing a few times and that can already make a song that's really cool to see over here and in the ending it's uh, the last repetition of that progression is without that melody which calms the whole song down you know i really like that uh, so you heard the melody quite a lot of times like four times in total and in the end it's just a progression calming down the song as a tail. No melody. Now that that's I think it's really strong about this one. Because you really make a statement in the end. Even if it's this calm, but it's still epic. So yeah, Erki, really, really well done. And clearly in uh, a, a song based on pedal note. There's also always that present throughout the whole piece. And that was the challenge. And you made it work. So thank you, man. Let me see. Yeah. East up on the compression. Yeah, that's good as well. Leave some headroom for this. Um, you uh, you really yeah saw with this song um, <clears throat> there is especially with orchestra you have a lot of possibilities with dynamics. You can program the orchestra really soft and it sounds nice and you can program it really pretty much louder and still sounds nice and warm and epic. That's the cool thing about orchestra. I think it's way more warm sounding than for example, rock guitars, of course. And you can use more notes than with guitars. That's why I love to uh, be busy with orchestra stuff as well we can uh, add multiple notes and have some clusters going on and still sounding really smooth and warm so you did that uh, really well over here so thanks really cool next one who wants I see Eva over here it's sort of a Alphabetical order this time. So. Uh, oh no. But Andoni is in the back. <laughs> well, everybody will be heard. So, all right. Eva from Czech Republic. Let's listen to your song. See how that evolved. Lonely. Stuck in my own universe Far from intricate world and its curse Endless life 
labyrinth grows in my mind Leaving truth behind a bit on the backings uh, also did different things with the backings now uh, they're a bit loud in the mix i must say but they're they're better sounding you uh, you had them a bit dry last week like no reverb or, or something uh, 
the voice overall is, is quite loud, I think, still. Um, also, in the <clears throat> there's a difference in mixing. Sometimes you have peaceful parts, then it's cool to have you really like close in the mix like this. But when you have louder parts like your chorus, you can mix your voice a bit down, like less loud. Because you sing louder over there, then it will appear louder if if it's lower in the mix, if you get what I mean. Because you're already singing louder, so you hear that energy. Uh, but if you're doing that, you sing loud and it's also really in front of the mix, then it sounds too direct and that sounds less big, less wide. That's how I see it. So a verse, if you want to be close to the listener telling your story, you can put it high in the mix like this and with a with a chorus you can put it a bit lower in the mix because you will sing already louder and then you will probably uh, add some reverb or delay which makes it sound even bigger you know it's it's the uh, the illusion that you're really screaming like singing out loud in a big room or in a hall so you have to put it lower in the mix so it can reverberate more. That's that's how I see it. But yeah, next to that, really, really well done. Um, so maybe you can check that extra, the vocal mix. But the sound is better for sure. And you, I, I was wondering, did you try what I suggested? You didn't uh, apply it, I see, to start this last break right away with vocals instead of uh, this you added the that panning guitar i think last week it was not there am i right yeah ah so you oh wait backing guitar sounded low so you increased the volume yeah it's really when mixing it's good to have breaks you know uh, also the big guys and the, the biggest mixers they don't mix for more than four or five hours per day because your ears get tired yeah so you tried this uh, guitar instead of the vocals yeah there's there's more things to listen to like this Yeah, that's more logical actually uh, and it builds up like this <laughs> you couldn't sing loud when you're at home okay but you have a studio available for if you really want to record it for real or any song in the future cool nice so you did everything you applied everything uh, let me see what I heard here. I'm just tiny. Leaving truth behind. Oh, no, it's just behind the D. Uh, I thought I heard like uh, your keyboard or something over there, but no, it's just the, your vo vocals. Yeah, really, uh, really well done. So, thank you, Eva. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's cool to have this uh, this final view on all of your songs, you know. Uh, let's just continue. Gopan is next. Gopan is still here, your house is still there, you survived the cyclone last week. <laughs> That's really nice. You are alive. Yay! <laughs> awesome. Gopan is alive. Thanks. Uh, so, you could still... Uh, use your electricity really great and you finished your song uh, you did some uh, mixing 
fine tuning, I think. Let me see. Oh, Eva has a home studio in the village. Wow. Nice. That is really cool. So you have professional things there. So you should work on big stuff from now. All right, let's uh, listen to Gopan from India, your final pedal note song. Go Pong! Go, go Pong! Really cool. I love that bass sound. It's, uh, it's programmed, right? 
in the end. That's pretty cool. Steady. Uh, pinch harmonic in the second solo. Nice. Yeah, and that weird note is not there anymore. So you fix that. Um, let me see. Um, was that fast bass guitar there last week already? Do -do -do. Just notice how cool that is right now. Gin bass. Yeah, it's more uh, prominent now or something. Really cool. Yeah, man. Um, this makes a lot of sense. Um, what was your plan with this song? Just for this challenge or you want to release this kind of stuff? Um, I wonder uh, what your view is on this. Awesome patch change automation. Maybe uh, for that part you uh, put the, the bass a bit louder. Well, the reason I ask is uh, if you would release this, I really wonder how this would sound with real drums on it. Because that's the only thing that, that I hear right away, that it's not a real drummer. And the rest is pretty cool. So if you find a drummer who can drum this, then it uh, can be pretty cool to release, I think. Uh, but also vocals can still fit, I think. You have a lot of leads going on and it can be a cool, really melodic song to maybe uh, exchange the vocal sections with uh, a lot of leads as well. You know, like uh, David Maxim Mitzik or like Bailo uh, kind of stuff. Also, he also has some vocals on some parts, but it's not like full songs, all full with vocals everywhere. It's like a nice mix of guitar leads and effects and different stuff uh, mixed with vocals here and there. Could be that kind of song. So, yeah. Really well done. It sounds uh, more professional. Um, slight uh, comment still. Uh, I don't know what you, if, if it was here last time, but this lead or the, the arpeggio, it clips. Also the, the, the low one. And it sounds like digital clipping, the, the louder notes. Um, so really make sure that your DI uh, enters your PC not too loud or else it clips already there before it goes into the NeuroDSP uh, VSTs. Really hear that? And this should be the really peaceful Steven Wilson vibe, right? So there should not be no clipping at all. Really peaceful, uh, nice, uh, small sounding guitar. So watch that. That's really uh, yeah, difficult, uh, easy thing to oversee. Uh, but it's uh, it's clipping somehow. Maybe uh, yeah, I cannot really see it, but you hear it pretty uh, obvious. Or do you want it to sound like a crackling vinyl? No, it's it's exactly at the at the harder hits, so it's it's clipping somehow. I like the guitar. You add piano instead of the clean guitar. Yeah, it could be. I like the guitar a lot, but it should just be uh, not clipping. <laughs> or maybe uh, mixed with piano can be cool but uh, yeah I like it a lot uh, filtered guitar and then going into that solo section Also tiny clipping there 
so maybe it's your end mix i'm not sure um, together maybe it's your end boss that that yeah collects all these tracks that that's somehow clipping so watch that but uh, the the song itself all based on pedal note check and you got your structure going and uh, main main themes you have an elidian vibe no you have uh, it's all uh, minor this song and then that middle section you have some chords with uh, major seven sounds but it's still a minor minor song the minor uh, just a aeolian uh, mode you got going with uh, here and there some uh, cool extensions but not uh, not lydian <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, Gopan, thanks a lot. Woo! And another applause because it's the final. Uh, we have to say, like, goodbye to all these songs. They just are here and we're gonna... Well, we can store them. Um, I will also upload this on uh, YouTube, this final. So it will be at least preserved. All your effort. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lubos from Czech Republic. Also, you uh, worked on your song. I see three big sections. Let's go.
Yes! Yes, man! Woo! Hold, 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 hold! Woo, woo, woo! Blue boss! Great sounding track. Also, the mix. Uh, Lubus also has this headroom thing, which makes the track super dynamic and nice to listen to. Um, and yeah, great thing that you did with the ending. It's, uh, yeah, something like that I, I had in mind too. I didn't know how and I didn't know which direction you could go. But uh, what we discussed last week, like you had three or almost four sections that were all pretty different. Uh, also, the last section was completely different and uh, super much more brutal than all of these. But this is way more like a, as one mature song, you know. There's a really weird beginning, really dark and really fresh middle section. And the end is a sort of build up uh, also new stuff happening but also a big uh, wink to the first section like the very last riff is the exact first riff uh, so that's really nice you link back to where you were which makes it like yeah it makes it a really a track with things uh, that links link to each other and that was necessary because it was, yeah, it we're all cool parts, but there was not a link, simply said. So that is fixed with this one. And uh, yeah, really well done. It's, uh, it's still like, like a whole new section. Uh, let me see this one. So that's sort of the same as a uh, first. This is the second section, and the third, the last section, begins with this. A bit more drive, but uh, the same kind of melodies. And there you go. Building it up gradually. Instead of, uh, what was it last week? Uh, really, uh, really brutal stuff. Uh, keep that riff, but for something else, I would say. It was a really cool uh, riff section, but this really fits much better. Yeah, well done, man. And still sticking to the pedal note uh, assignment, so that's really cool. Awesome, man. And yeah, I like it that you still go, in the very end, go back to the beginning uh, for short. <laughs> Not even there. Yeah, that, that was necessary. Something like that. Really cool. Thank you, Lubos. As some of you uh, might know, Lubos is a, a drummer, but he uh, just just plays this for fun. Uh, he played this uh, guitar and also the bass, right? So yeah, well done, man. Nice. Good. Then we uh, end up with the last one of tonight. Uh, this is Andoni Ross. From Spain, your track looks a bit louder than the rest. Uh, pull it down uh, 2 dBs, because it's, it's really loud, but uh, we'll see. Maybe 1 dB, because it should be loud. All right, let's do it.
Doni Ross, thank you, man. Wow, that was ultra brutal. Woo! Um, yeah, we didn't speak after last week, right? Um, last week you were not in the chat over here. I think you uh, rewatched the episode. Uh, because I had some comments for you, and I think uh, uh, you you worked on that. It was mostly about controlling the low end. And yeah, this sounds uh, way more professional again. So that's really good. In this case, there is no no headroom. <laughs> but that's also the charm of this kind of songs, you know. Uh, I talked about the the soundtrack of Doom. There's also no headroom there. It should be loud. It should be really dark and almost industrial. That's that's pretty cool of this song. Um, still, you're sticking to the panel note the whole song. There's one note that you can hear all the time. And yeah, it's so loud, man, the track. I also wonder what did you use uh, because it's it's more controlled now. Here and there I'm, I hear a tiny bit of clipping, but you really watched that. Um, and there's something, yeah, that's like really being strict for my for my ears, you know. Uh, but you wanted me to be strict, so I'm gonna pinpoint those. But those are only mixing comments, you know. I think the song is really cool. Um, structure is cool. It's it's an unusual setup, you know. There's there's it sounds like a yeah sludge rock, and on one end, but the other side it's more like industrial stuff going on, and uh, yeah, also a bit sepultura vibe, really heavy metal things going on so uh, let me see what did i hear somewhere here <laughs> That's really well done. There's no clipping. There. Here there might be a bit of clipping because of the and palm mutes with low tune guitar and bass guitar and floors all reaching for that sub bass, really low low end. So I hear a tiny. <laughs> So there's a tiny bit of clipping there. Yeah, it depends on what you want, you know. There are some mixers that really watch it. Uh, and yeah, it sounds more professional, but you also have big acts or big artists that really don't care about any tiny bit of, uh, of clipping because it, it sounds also brutal, you know. So it's, it's a matter of taste as well, but I always watch it because you want it controlled and, and because the rest of your track is really controlled even this loud you you really did a good job so this section you might want to watch out with uh, throwing in that low end with all those instruments so some somebody has to tone it down a bit you know uh, have to make a choice or take a bit of sub bass uh, out of the floors or of the guitars or the uh, guitars the the palm mutes of the guitars especially especially with low tuned guitars is that's a lot of energy it's a lot of sub bass as well like uh yeah 100 hertz or 80 maybe even in this low tuned guitars so if you palm mute that really accentuates that low end so I think when you take away that, for example, from the guitars, you still have that nice and still the low end will be controlled. So some some of those instruments have to, maybe you did it already, um, but with the multiband compression, 
for example, you can do a lot. So the, the whole guitar track doesn't get compressed, just the low end. But probably you did that a lot all over this track because uh, yeah, it sounds so loud and still pretty clear. That's really, uh, yeah, well done. <laughs> So yeah, I assume you uh, put it next to the Doom soundtrack just as a reference um, to how they used that low end, but also the super much distortion and also to control that. That's nice to have a sort of reference next to your mix, like how many uh, high end do you leave in the mix and how much do you filter to keep it controlled. So yeah, really well done. Uh, this was a nice uh, heavy one to conclude this, I think so. So Andoni and also everybody. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, a Slayer crowd next to this. Is, uh... <laughs> yeah, really cool. So thank you. Um, next week are gonna be three more, hopefully. Because yeah, because uh, well, um, Thomas told me yeah, okay, he he has been not active last few weeks. So his song that is from a few weeks ago, but it's still his final sketch, you know, and probably he's gonna use it for his own project right now. He's gonna, if I'm correct, he's gonna record real drums for it and let some people also play on it. So it's gonna be something re really used and uh, used for a release of Thomas. So that's, that's still worth to mention and very cool that that happened also w during this challenge, you know. So for him, as he, as he said, it, it's just a production demo. It's not like final, final, but uh, the really good placement and the, the whole structure is there. So let's have a listen to that. And next to that, I have uh, Iska. He showed us a pretty cool setup of his song without vocals. And now he fixed a vocalist on top of that, uh, that huge song almost seven minutes it was. So he has fixed the vocalist and that's really worth it as well to hear. So let's start with Thomas from Norway and his, uh, his song. This is the pedal note challenge. So there was always one note uh, there during the whole song and he built the uh, chords and melodies around that. So Thomas from Norway, here you go.
Yeah. Thomas. That is pretty cool, man. Um, let's uh, set this up. Actually, I've just been playing some guitar, so we don't need this. And we might need this. So, yeah, that was uh, one of the pedal note challenge. And what we discussed back then, how this song came together. The first week Thomas delivered this idea with mainly that uh, that high lead, you know. It's a sort of melody based on uh, open, I think it's E string. And, and then next to that he makes a melody, but you hear the open string all the time. So that's already the pedal note uh, uh, thing that he checked over there. And yeah, so that was his main theme, his main melody, and he built his song around that. He, uh, he built dynamics around that. You see already um, in the song itself, there are loud parts and less loud parts. Um, it's quite dynamic and the heavy parts are really heavy. But that's really, uh, really well done. And it, it makes sense as a, as a full song, you know, progressive song as well. So it's really cool to see that this uh, has, yeah, brought Thomas this kind of song and he's gonna use it for his own band, his own uh, project, so. Really nice this came together like that. Even when he was uh, out of order for uh, one or uh, the last few weeks. Still, uh, he had this cool idea just because of the pedal note uh, setup. Nice. So thank you, Thomas. Hope to see you uh, next time again. Let's uh, listen to the last one of last week's challenge. Uh, we have been uh, doing that challenge of the uh, pedal note for five weeks. And Iska just fixed a singer. So let's listen to his song. This was, if you still remember, a sort of electronic song. And we were, yeah, like brainstorming about that. Okay, it's a long song, but it can only be this long if you fill it in with or some melody or some guitar lead or or vocals and that's what Iska did and that has gotten pretty cool the outcome is really really cool um, let's just check it out you know let's do it Iska from the Netherlands Eight percent slower. You were on the look for something new. Let's do them totally. It's too cool song not to do. Yeah. 
Yes. Woo! That's much better, right? Yeah. This sounds more fresh, more energetic or so. So we just heard uh, the song in the different sample rate. Well, I hardly noticed, I must say, because the guy has such a high voice. I was thinking about it like, wow, it sounds different. Yeah, but this voice is still so high, so it cannot be the sample rate. But it is, it was. So yeah, really uh, well done. Also the mix is uh, very professional uh, already like this. Uh, what are you going to do with it, Iska? Is this going to be a release, um, official release of something, something for yourself or just a one-off release maybe? Uh, sounds like, yeah, sounds like something that can be the next thing, you know? Um, but I know you have your own project and that's like really heavy stuff like metal and bombastic epic heavy stuff but that's not this so i i wonder what uh what do you want to do with it nice okay a one-off release cool yeah it's really a special song you know it, it reminds me of the that kind of big structure songs like like phil collins or something you know he has this kind of setup as well like like a structure and the, like there is one or two minutes no drums or no percussion just vibing with vocals and some synths or guitars you know and that's this as well and it and it still stands you know after those two minutes you still want to hear the rest of the song it doesn't get uh, boring or, or anything so that's really well done and the cool thing was also in the beginning you of course you did a pedal note throughout the whole song that was the challenge but the the pedal note here um, well in, in most of the ideas that we heard from everybody the pedal note is some high note on guitar or synth you know but you have a pedal note, the lowest note is your pedal note. And there are chords going on on top of that. That's pretty cool. Like this, uh, this little part here. You be the one. Uh, here. Or even here. Oh, here. Pretty cool you can just leave that bass there and that's the pedal note and there are yeah chords on top of the whole progression is happening but the bass doesn't follow the progression so that's really nice here it's all the same it's dark you know Why not? You know, it's really it makes it really dark, and yeah, it makes you also curious about what's gonna happen. You know, it's a bit like a, a cinema feeling. You know, there's low drone, ooh, something's gonna happen. Well, it's really well done and like a really fresh uh, uh, take on pedal note. But originally, originally, it's. Uh, it is a bit, uh, <clears throat> it comes from bass notes uh, because pedal note, the, the, the term comes from organ music. Like back, like ages ago, uh, organs have like keyboards, you know, multiple keyboards to play with, but also pedals in which you can play bass notes with your feet. So that's what organ players back then did with classical music. They hold some notes with their feet and that's the pedal and you play on top of that so you sort of simulated that uh, in your song that's pretty cool so thank you Iska so this with this one the second challenge uh, is officially closed now um, all these finals will be up on my YouTube I waited one week with it so I can all send this to my YouTube so they will be uh, there. Thanks, Iska, and everybody, again. <laughs>